Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mathematics. In this video, we are going to discuss this another interesting geometry problem involving circles. We have been given three lengths, 4 cm, 6 cm, 8 cm and two 90 degree angles. Using this information, we have to find the area of this blue circle. We will discuss two methods by which we can solve this question. If you have any other method in your mind, just feel free to share in the comments below. So let us start solving the question. First, let me mark these points as A, B, C and D. Now, what I will do is I will extend this side CD such that it will intersect the circle at point D. So what I did was I just simply extended this to make the chord DE. Now I will join point A and point D. Now, why did I do this? How did I come to think of this? Because I see these 90 degree angles, so I have to use that to solve the question. So now this 190 degree triangle angle is at the circumference of the circle. And keeping this in mind, I know there is a property of diameter of the circle, which is such that the diameter substand an angle of 90 degree at the circumference. Based on this information, we can see that AE must be the diameter of the circle. Now, how to come to think of diameter of the circle? Because we have to find the area of the circle. To find the area of the circle, we need the radius of the circle. So when I saw the question an angle of 90 degree at the circumference, I came to think of the radius. Then I came to think of diameter because here the angle is 90 degree. That is why I extended this and I joined this A and form the diameter. So now just to find the area of the circle, I need the length a, that is the thought process in starting of solving this question. Now I can see one more point at the circumference for this diameter A. So I now can join that also and here the angle will also be 90 degree. So we are just simply using the properties of diameter. So till now we have used this 90 degree angle and using that also we formed a 90 degree angle here. But we have not used this 90 degree angle. To use that, what I will do is from point A, I will draw a line parallel to this line. And let me assume this length CE is equal to X. So I will draw a line parallel to line CD from point A. Now we can see that this is just forming a rectangle. So it means the opposite sides must be equal. So this is 6, this must also be 6. And this is 4, so this must also be 4. So this 8 is basically divided into two parts. Upper part is also 4, lower part is also 4. This is what we can say. Now we will find the length A by simply using Pythagoras theorem in this 90 degree triangle. Now how do we do that? Now we will apply Pythagoras theorem so we can see that A is the hypotenuse of this triangle. So we can write AE square is equal to AB square plus BE square. So this is how we applied Pythagoras theorem here. So now we will line, write the length of A because we don't know A, even we don't know BE also. So what I will do, I will use Pythagoras theorem again in one or more triangles. In another triangle, we can find A using Pythagoras theorem inside this triangle because in this triangle also there is the angle 90 degree. We can write AE square is equal to 4 square plus 6 plus X whole square. That is hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square. Now what is the next length I can think of that is AB square which we can easily find from this 90 degree triangle because in this 90 degree triangle we know this length is 6 this is 4. So AB square will become 6 square plus 4 square this is the length we can write simply we can also write BE square length in this 90 degree triangle just take a look at it here here it is 90 degree so here must be 90 degree also. So this third side BE square can be written as 4 plus 4 that is 8 square plus x square. Now we can solve this equation and find x. Once we know the x, we can find a that is the diameter and once we know the diameter, we know the area of the circle. So that is the first method to solve this question. Now we will simply do calculation. Both the sides if you will see there is 4 square, here it is also 4 square. They will get cancelled out. Left hand side we will apply the formula a plus b whole square. So this will become x square plus 36 plus 2 multiplied by 6x that is 12x. On the right side we can see here it is 36, this is 64, this is x square. So we can write it like this. On both the sides if you will see 36 will get cancelled out, x square will get cancelled out 
x will become 64 by 12 and if you will cancel it by 4 it will become 16 by 3 now we can easily find a just put this value 16 by 3 here and you can find a square that is 4 square plus 6 plus 6 by 16 by 3 whole square just take the LCM, simplify it, you will get the value 1300 by 9. That is A square. So now we know the diameter of the circle. So we know that area of circle is pi r square. If the diameter is d, area of circle is pi d square by 4. So pi by 4 multiplied by diameter square. So this will become the area. 1300 by 9 multiplied by pi by 4 is 325 pi by 9. So this is the first method by which we can find the area of this circle. Now, what is the second method I can think of? Let's take a look at another thought process by which we can solve this question. To do that, I will not make this diameter here. I will simply use first this triangle here. I will simply join AB. I will find the length AB, which is very simple to find under root of 6 square plus 4 square. If you will simplify, that will come out to be 36 plus 16 under root of 52, which is nothing but 2 root 13. So in this triangle, just use Pythagoras theorem, you can find length AB. Now what is the next length I will join and I will find? I will join the length DB from joining this point to this point. How did I think of this? Because I can see that here there was a 90 degree triangle, I can find this length. Here I also see a 90 degree triangle, so I will just join this, I can find this length also. This length will be under root of 6 square plus 8 square that is under root of 100. So in this 90 degree triangle if you apply Pythagoras theorem you will find this length to be 10. So now we can see that this triangle we know three sides this side this side and this side and if we talk about the blue circle what is that blue circle that is the circumcircle of this triangle ABD. So now I will use the properties of triangle to simply find the circum radius of the triangle what is the formula which we are going to use that is area of this triangle is nothing but abc divided by 4r what is abc abc are the three sides of the triangle here the sides are 10 4 and 2 root 13 r is capital r that is the circum radius the circle radius blue circle radius this is the value and this is area so these three lengths we know 10 4 2 root 13 this is the value we have to find. Now what is the area of triangle ABD which we can also easily find. Just take a look at this triangle ABD. This is the base. Now what will be the height? This will be the height of the triangle which is similar to same value 6 here. So the area is half 4 multiplied by height that is 6. So this is the area. Now we will simply put the value on the right hand side from the sides of this triangle. So this is the diagram we will use. Length A is nothing but 4, B is 10, here it is 2 root 13. Just simplify this. Cancelling out, you will find the answer. How we will cancel this out? We can see that here it is 4, here it is 4, it is get cancelled out. You can see that 2, 3 is a 6, this will also get cancelled out. And now if you will simplify this, you will get the value 5 root 13 by 3. This is the value you are going to get. Here also you can cancel out. 2, 2 is a 4, here it will get cancelled out. This will become 2 5s are 10, 2 1s are 2. So 5 root 13 by 3, this is capital R radius. Now what is the area? Pi R square. If you will simplify, you will get the same answer 325 pi by 9. So this is the second method that I can think of solving this interesting geometry problem. If you have any other method in your mind, feel free to write in the comments below. And please like this video, these type of videos I will make regularly and if you want more updates on these kind of videos, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel Mathmentis. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.